Photoshop video where I show you tutorials on a Adobe product called Photoshop where you can mix cool stuff. Yeah, thanks for, for clicking on my video. I hope it will be helpful. Now, today I'll be showing you how to make a texture, a honeycomb texture, just like this one right here. So, yeah what you need to do is just click on file new and then create uh, a new file yes so let's start uh, what you need to do firstly is go to your uh, rectangle tool or ellipse tool you may have any of those and find polygonal tool yep then go to sides just like here and click six yep honeycomb has six sides now what you need to do just click shift and drag until you got what you need yep fucking internet connection okay now we have our first polygonal object and we're gonna rasterize it uh, just click right click on it rasterize layer yeah now we have a rasterized layer then co uh, click control uh, J seven more times one two three four five six seven I guess that's enough so now what you need to do is just center it by doing this yay oh my god already fucking internet connection that's one centered then go to the second one So that's uh, what you need to do with all of them. I'm going to pause now so uh, I, I don't waste your time. Yeah, I guess uh, you don't need, uh, you won't be needing one of these so you can delete layer. Yes, delete. Now, you, mu you have to create something like this. Then go to Control Plus to zoom in and uh, then uh, cr uh, click Control R uh, to open the ruler. Then click on the ruler and drag somewhere right about here, on the center of this one, and let go. Then go click another time on the upper ruler, and do the same on the other side. Now click on the left ruler and center it on the half of the left two polygonals and then do the same on the right side yes this should come up then go to your crop tool yes this is the crop tool and drag and click enter yeah, this may not be perfect because I'm do doing this in a rush just to show you how to do it then you can close your rulers just like this and then you can choose whatever cover you like and the background also but I advise you to use transparent then you can change your background whenever you want and you don't need to create a new honeycomb to do it so now go to image no sorry go to edit define pattern and type in like honeycomb and click OK now we define the new pattern 
we go to file new uh, 1280 by 720 and yes then go to edit fill we use pattern and then select your new pattern and click OK this should come up and you can change the size just uh, right here you can change your size to uh, your liking and uh, then it l could look better it could look like this it's smaller you can make it bigger you can choose whatever and then you can uh, put your background that can be any color you wish for example let's put uh, color red okay and we have our red color yeah so thanks for watching I hope that my internet connection wasn't bugging you it was bugging me and I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful until next time oh yeah and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe Click here to watch gameplay videos on my Steam Clan channel.